pretty big loss on the play, and I think they might want to reassess the strategy here. Perhaps run a screen, maybe hit the tight end on a short pattern. This D-line is just a bit much to handle at this moment. From the 14-yard line, it's second down. Red to it. Takes it left side, and he's brought down in the backfield. And the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. And he's tackled at about the 13. The D sniffs out the screen pass and holds him to a short game. Contain, contain, contain. That's the only way you can shut down a guy with 4-2 speed. Oklahoma could take the lead with this field goal. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. Start offense. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five-yard setback can do damage to a drive. So they've moved him back, and it's fourth and long. Kicks away, and it sails through the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Alabama's offense really centered around this quarterback. And as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film. And one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes. And when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. That's good for a game of 16 yards. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41. Red 2, green 15. He's at midfield. Tackle made around the 37-yard line. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air with a play-action pass. First and 10, ball on the 37-yard line. And they make the stop at about the 39-yard line. Hit as he threw, and he completes it. And down he goes around the 31-yard line. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. I think it was a great play call, and it was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. Finds his receiver, and that's a first down. This is a big first down for this offense. I think it's another good example about how important it is to have an awareness about you as a wide receiver. The wide receiver did a really good job of knowing exactly where the first down marker was, and he made sure to get the route at least to that point. So when he made the catch and got hit, he had the first down. Tackle around the 23-yard line. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. And he stopped behind the line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Always a noisy place to play and tough on the offense. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. You can bend a bit as a defense, but when they're this deep in your own territory, you just can't break. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. Alabama can tie it up here with this kick. The kick is away. It's long enough, and he got it. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalk up three points for the offense. And this one's knotted up at three. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Gathered in at the six. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. 
And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. He's tackled at the 26-yard line. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. That was textbook coverage by the defense. That's exactly what you want to do on every single pass play, but it doesn't always happen. From their own 26-yard line, third down. And he hauls it in. And he is drilled at the 45-yard line. Fires it out. Brought down at the 49. And off up the middle and he's stuck. A loss of two yards on the play. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. Scrambling around. He's wrapped up for the sack. That brings us fourth and seven. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. And this one is a beauty. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Fires across the middle. Seven-yard play. It's a good completion. They didn't get the first down, but they picked up about seven yards. Second and three. We played one, three, three time. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. He's knocked out of bounds at the 38. I really thought the defense had a chance to get their hands on it, but the ball went out of bounds first. That's got to be disappointing. Three down, three down. First and 10. Ball on the 38. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. what the defensive back coach likes to see his kids reacting when the ball's in the air and then making the play Let's go. it's third and eight ball on their own 40 one of the top stadiums in the nation this crowd comes to play themselves and they got it this quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers
He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He fields it at the 17. He's tackled at the 35. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Slings it. Call it a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. He might not be able to get the pass off. And he just gets rid of it. From their own 36-yard line. Third down. Gets it off as he's hit. Completes. The ball is loose. He picks it up. And so the defense comes up with a fumble. Is that turnover going to hurt them? Well, every turnover hurts, but hopefully for their sake, this running back will go out there next time and hold on to the football a little bit better. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Mike 20, Mike 20, Mike 20. And he's taken down at the 34-yard line. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Gives it to the back. Makes it out to about the 20. Fires quickly to the tight end. Out of bounds around the 15 yard line. That brings him second and five. From the 15 yard line. Second down. Three down, three down. Forty's Mike, Forty's Mike. They'll bring him down around the seven yard line. Makes it first and goal. Larry, Larry. Hey, 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 Mike. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. That's a deep five on the play. That brings him second and goal. We've got second and goal. Ball on the two yard line. Splits the uprights with the extra point. So a six-play, 44-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Alabama to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously, but at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with, because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game, but the offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. And he's tackled right away. He's 
at the 20. And a huge touchdown play. These poor guys in the secondary look like they're still trying to catch up with him. He's gone in a heartbeat. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he hits the PAT. So a four-play, 75-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot, and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. Looks like they're ready for the kick. It's fielded at the two. He makes it out to maybe the 16-yard line. I give the defense credit, but right now I think it's more a case of sloppy offense. Yeah, you got to recognize that both defenses have come into this game with the right mindset, and they're very well prepared. But I'm with you. It's, it's one two thing times, to have great times. defense. It's another thing when those defenses are going up against offenses that just are not clicking right now and hitting on all cylinders. Zips it to the tight end. Steps out of bounds. The 20-yard line. That makes, that makes it, it second, second and six. six. From their own 20-yard line. Second down. Mike 40, Mike 40. And two. And a quick throw. So I think he's got a good rhythm going right now with his wide receivers. He hit him for a nice game. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Listen to this place. Black five, black five. Green 15. Go! You know, Brad, on these third downs where it's third and medium, it gives the play caller a chance to run the football or to throw the football. And in this case, I didn't really think the defense was sitting back thinking about more of the pass game, and it opened up some running lanes, and the offense was able to take advantage of that and convert for a first down. Kill, kill, kill! Flare! The 45. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 45. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. Throws it deep. Can't connect. So at the end of the half, this one's all even at 10. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. A tight, hard-hitting, low-scoring affair. Great hey, affair. This, this Great. Is right, you can say it like it is. This is right in your wheelhouse, Pollock. I mean, this, this is exactly in your comfort zone. No, I, absolutely. I mean, you like to see people flying around. You like to see defenses dictating to offenses and make them play on our terms. And it's it's fun to watch. It's something that as a great every great defense prides themselves prides themselves on tackling. You know, you didn't see very many missed tackles in the first half that led to big plays. And try to limit those big plays. And when they do get down towards the red zone, make people kick field goals. And that's 
That's how you see dominant defenses year in and year out, and, and that's what we're seeing today. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nessler in Kirk Herb Street. And the second half just about set to get started. We're dead even. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. They're about four yards away here on second down. He fights forward to about the 33. Really a tough spot for an offense to be in against this crowd in this stadium. They go with a run and he's going to be stopped short. Signals for a fair catch. Fair catch made at the 30-yard line. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Throws a laser across the middle. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Third and five situation. Ball on the 35. Two. Blue 20. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And they make the stop at the 44. Shoved out of bounds around the 29-yard line. Easy, easy. Flare. 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 And down he goes at the 33. You've got to admire the intensity that these linebackers bring to the table. As soon as he saw it was staying on the ground, he made a beeline for the ball carrier. From the 33-yard line, it's second down. Dog four! Gets out to about the 31. Eight yards back on the play. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. Right now, he wants to get this kick away and change field position. He really got a hold of that one. And this one goes out of the end zone, so they'll bring it out to the 20. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. On the ground with the tailback. Brought down around the 23-yard line. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball in the 23. Complete 
eats it, and he's hit hard immediately. I don't know if they'll be able to hear his cadence in the midst of all this mayhem. And he just gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. And he's tackled at the 44-yard line. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clinch up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. Tackle at the 41-yard line. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. From their own 41-yard line, it's second down. And he's level at the 47. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle made at the 50 yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. That makes it fourth and four. He punts. No, he won't. He's taken down at the 43. From the 43-yard line, first down. He's at the 30. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want it. But you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. That brings up second and 13. From the 33-yard line, second down. Green He flings it right. Quick strike to the receiver, touchdown. They looked awesome on that play. A well-thrown football and a great effort to get the ball into the end zone. And he adds the extra point. one great kick and it sails out of the end zone for a touchback the Sooners continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football Kirk. yeah they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way this deficit can be easily overcome sure but they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series the burden is going to be felt by their defense So at the end of the third quarter, Oklahoma leads 17-10. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Reset, tight right. Mike 20, Mike 20, Mike 20. Watch, watch a slant, watch a slant. Watch a green slant. eye, green eye. <laughs> He goes out of bounds at the 35. Three, maybe four yards on the pass. You know, little passes like this force the defense to start to come up. 
then you can see an offense take their chances downfield later to take advantage of the defense starting to cheat up. Caught, and that's a first down. And he's taken down at about the 39-yard line. First down. first down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 39. Three down, three down. Mike's, Mike's 40, Mike's 40. Go, no, four. Green, 15. Go. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. Ball to gain of 10 yards. First down. Makes it out to about the 39. Call it again at 12 yards. To the 39 yard line. First down. He gets another carry. Here's an opening. Makes it out to about the 30. That brings up second and long. Once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. You expect this every time you're here, and you're never disappointed. This crowd is amazing. And he's tackled after positive yardage. We're at play number nine of this current drive. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. Completes it across the middle. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Less than three minutes in the game. They'll bring him down at about the five-yard line. Call it a gain of nine this is the 11th play of this drive. That makes it first and goal. Three down, three down. Three down. 40's Mike, 40's a Mike. Black, go! He's tackled at the two. That's a gain of nine. That brings us second and goal. They're at the two. Second down. He's taken down at the one. That's a that makes a and this is the 13th play of this drive. They're packed in tight on the line. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. This kid is a really reliable weapon. You definitely want the football in his hands near the end zone, and he showed you why right there. I think it goes without saying that that was a very well-deserved score. He makes the PAT. Alabama is lining up to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Right, this has been a great game to watch. A lot of competitive spirit out there. The offenses seem to be going up and down the field. Back and forth we go. I think the winner will be which defense can make that pivotal stop to secure a victory. You've got to be aware that capitalizing on this drive is crucial. You want to take the pressure off you and put it on your opponent. Rose out and a leaping interception by the corner. It was time for somebody to step up and make a play. And boy, did the defense come through. Now they've got a chance to take the lead. That was huge. First and 10. Ball on the 38. Just under two minutes in the game. Just throws this one away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Great 
And he is drilled at the 30. Quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. That'll bring up third and two. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Always a noisy place to play and tough on the offense. Just a tremendous play there late in the fourth quarter in a tie football game. And now it all comes down to the final seconds or overtime. It has the distance, and he nails the long field goal. Alabama's got one of the best quarterbacks in the business. He played like one on that last drive. Well, that drive was huge to set up that game-winning field goal. The quarterback at times just looked so relaxed back there like he was just playing a video game, just making good decisions and moving the ball right down the field for that game-winning kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And they can forget about returning this one. Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? We'll see who's got the most leadership. He's scrambling. And he's tackled around the 35-yard line. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. And he hits him hard at the 27th. You have to keep an eye on this guy, especially during passing situations, because he does a great job of getting to the quarterback, as we saw right there. Under a minute left. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. The Sooners will use their first time out of the half. From their own 37-yard line, it's first down. He steps out at the 40. There's a strike complete, and he's down. The defense provided good pressure on the play, but they just weren't able to get to the quarterback that time. He took what the defense gave him that time, which is okay. It keeps the yards to go a little bit more manageable. Well, a lot of frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. Got it, and they make the stop at the 22. He's on the run. Easy, easy. Blue 20. Check 24. Check 24. Go. Spikes the ball. It's third and long, and at this stage of this game, they probably have to go to the air. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five wide set. He's knocked out of bounds, right around the 12-yard line. That's good for the game 10 yards. That makes it so inefficient. The kick is away, and he got it! The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Alabama will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 26-yard line. Well, we've had fun, folks, but we're not done yet because this game is heading to overtime. Back to the action here, and we get ready for overtime. And down he goes at the 13-yard line. 
That makes it first and ten. From the 13 yard line. First down. Head two. Orange three. Quick throw. Brought down at the seven. That'll make it second and four. He gets rid of this one. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. They're about four yards away here on third down. The intimidation factor is definitely here when you're playing in this stadium. Quick strike, and it's caught for the touchdown. Advantageous to have the ball second in overtime, but only if you can make a stop. Now that they gave up the score, they're playing from behind with a ton of pressure on them. He splits the uprights with the extra point. From the 25 yard line, first down. Going right to his tailback. Knocked out of bounds. It's the 19 yard line. Good for a game of six yards. That'll make it second and four. 33. In your face. Easy two. Seven. He's got a touchdown. So they come up with the equalizer. This offense did just what they had to do. They knew they needed six points, and they got it. That was just a great series. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he hits the PAT. We've got a dandy here, folks. We're heading to overtime number two. First and 10. Ball on the 25. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. Converts the extra point. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the twenty five yard line. Steps out of bounds at about the 21. That makes it second and six. And off to the left. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. Third down. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. These fans are showing you why teams hate to come here, folks. Rose, and it's knocked away. And 
and he's hit immediately. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. That play could not have come at a better time. Oh, that was absolutely the perfect time to go with that play on fourth down. A touchdown away from a tie. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Tackle made right around the two-yard line. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That brings up second and goal. Hey, Mike. Hey, no, no, it's Mike right here. Right here. And two. Let's go. Fires incomplete. Knocked away. The defense backed up into their own end zone. It's third and goal from the one. I don't know if they'll be able to hear his cadence in the midst of all this mayhem. Touchdown, Alabama. So the offense comes up big, and now they're just an extra point away from a third overtime period. I know we usually don't talk about extra points being big kicks, but they don't get much more important than this one. And he tacks on the extra point. Both teams are dead tired, but one is going to outlast the other. This is looking like a classic in the making. From the 25-yard line, it's first down. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. That makes it second and ten. Mike's 40, Mike's 40. Mike's 40, Mike's 40. Red 2, blue 20. Around the 26-yard line. That's got to be very frustrating for that running back. This offense is trying to get in sync and trying to get a rhythm established. And for such a negative play to happen, loss of yards, it can really have a negative impact on the offense and what they're trying to do. The crowd at this stadium, always a factor in a football game. And he can't get away from the pressure. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. And he can't get the pass off, and he's sacked. It's first and ten. Ball on the 25. 33. Scrambling around. And he's taken down at the 22-yard line. That's good for a game three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Strike to his receiver, no good. Number 17, the intended receiver on the play. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. The back has it, and he dropped it. Number 26 was the intended receiver on the play. That brings up fourth and seven. He gets it up, and they tack on three points. This one's in the books, and our final score, Oklahoma 37, Alabama 34.
That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.